In this video, we'll go through the process of extracting place results from Google Maps using SERP API with Python. Before moving on to the code explanation part, a few examples of what data you need to grab from Google Maps and pass to SERP API. The thing we're looking for is a GPS coordinates that located inside URL when you type the search query. They starts with an at sign, followed by latitude, longitude, and a zoom. Copy this and pass it to GPS coordinates search parameter. This will tell SERP API to parse places from the exact same location. When you search for something on Google Maps, let's say for some random burger place in Seattle, Google Maps returns matches from the entire Seattle, and when paginating to the next page, it will jump back and forth, possibly will also do a zoom in and out to show other places. The same thing will be happening on the SERP API backend, but without browser automation, which becomes much faster. To get started, head over to SERP API Playground and make sure you're on the Google Maps Search API. Type a search query, and if you need, add other additional parameters. Then check if search type is set to search. This means that SERP API will return a list of matches from a given search query. To get a data about the place, we'll be accessing local results key which contains a list of results with individual place. To paginate to the next page, we'll be using SERP API pagination key which has needed data to paginate to the next page. Don't forget to use export to code playground feature that generates boilerplate code for you. Now to the actual code. We'll cover two examples for extracting first page results and all results using pagination. The first one is extremely simple. We pass search query parameters to SERP API, adding a temporary list to store the data, checking if there's any error returned from the SERP API, iterating over local results and extracting parts of the data and appending to temporary list. That's basically it. Here's what the output looks like. To get all results using pagination, we need to add a while loop. Move extracted results inside while loop in order to update them after the pagination. Next we're doing the same iteration and appending process as before, but now we also need to check if the next page is present or not, and if present update to the next page, otherwise, we need to exit the while loop. The final step would be to exclude duplicates using pandas in this example. Here's what the output would look like. If you have any questions or confusions, reach us at Twitter with AskSERP API hashtag.